Gentlemen and the odd lassie, welcome to my garage. Today we're going to do a review of the Harbor Freight Low Profile 3 Ton Rapid Pump Jack. Is it truly better than my tried and true Michelin 2 Ton? Stay tuned to find out. First off, guys, thanks for tuning in. If you can, please subscribe. I need 1,000 subscribers. Um, and I'd like to put the money back into the vid the channel. New equipment, um, new mic. I'm not in it for my money. I already have a day job. So if you can please subscribe, cost you nothing, that'd be great. Okay, so without further ado, first we have to go back to the basics and how a jack works. So basically you have two cylinders. You're pumping on the small cylinder here. And you're pushing the car under the larger cylinder. There's a fluid in between the two, and because the pressure is constant, pressure is force over area. If you put a small force in here, force over a small area of the cylinder is one pressure, and you put, then you get out a larger force over a larger area to keep the pressure the same, right? So force one over area one equals p force two over area two equals p so the larger the area the larger the force to keep the pressure the constant so that's how you lift a jack or a car or any heavy object okay and then you got to also remember work equals force times distance so you might be getting out more force here, but it doesn't come from nothing, okay? Work equals force times distance. So the distance here, you move, D1 and D2 are not equal, okay? So if this was 10 times bigger than this, you'd get 10 times more force from here out of this. You guys agree? But D2 would move 10 times less than D1, right? So that's how the ratios work. The greater the difference, okay, the easier it is going to be to lift your car. But if this, so if this is 10 times bigger than this, you get a 10 times force multiplication. But for every 10 inches you press on your handle here, it only moves one inch. So what I think the Harbor Freight Rapid Pump does is this is not as small as other jacks, okay? So you are then putting in more force, right? You get it a little, okay? So you can't get something from nothing. And that's why you got a four foot handle on these suckers. Whereas my Michelin there is only two feet. Okay, you can't see the end of the Harbor Freight. It's out of the frame, but it's four feet long. So, yeah, rapid pump. Well, each pump is taking more force to get up to a level. Okay, and what I did is I graphed how my blue... Michelin jack moves. It's moving about two and a half inches each pump. It goes down to two inches each pump to a maximum of five. And then low prof it's not low profile, therefore it starts at five. Whereas you see the Harbor Freight one, it's jumping about three inches. So it's jumping about an extra inch. Then you see towards the top it starts jumping only two inches. So it's jumping an extra inch every pump. Okay, but you see the low profile, it starts off at 3.25 inches. The only reason I bought this jack is to fit under my low profile BMW. It's stock, but they're very low from the factory. Otherwise, this Michelin jack is pretty good. All right, so back to the numbers. So the Harbor Freight will go up to 20 inches. It's six inches more than your standard cheapo jack. And it starts off 1.7 inches lower 
than your standard jack. That's the kind of difference you need in certain cars. That's all great. What I don't like is, look how long the handle is. It's four feet. So I have to move my other car when I'm working in the garage with this jack. My Michelin jack, two foot long handle compared to four, I don't. That's because the force required to move each pump is a lot less. But I'm moving less distance, right? About an inch, let's say, give or take each stroke. So there are some downsides to these low profile jacks. For $30, that Michelin Jack has lasted me 10 year, 10 plus years, and it's still going. So compared to $100, I'm just letting you know, you can't get something for nothing. So this, so far, I love this Harbor Freight, but if you don't need the low profile, nothing wrong with those standard jacks. Yeah, this is a little more steady, a little more secure but man it's heavy you can't lug this thing around easily so keep that in mind when you're searching for them that michelin jack i can pick up with my hand okay thanks for tuning in let me know in the comments what you think i love the jack but if you don't need it nothing wrong with those standard jacks just always remember to use jack stands take care guys